We're having a picnic this afternoon, and my friends have asked me to bring the sandwiches. So I thought I'd surprise them with a variation of the ordinary sub and create this wonderful um, circular sub, it's called. An unusual combination of vegetables and a few interesting meats. Cut the loaf in half. I'm using a serrated um, bread knife. This is very, very sharp and very effective for cutting such a big loaf of bread. Start the cut and then go through the bread, trying to keep it as even as possible. And because these fillings are so opulent, take out some of the interior of the bread. Don't throw it away, though. You can use it for uh, stuffings and whatever else you use breadcrumbs for. Do it for the top and the bottom. Th this way, you're left with a real nice, crusty bread without too much filling. This is a Sicilian peasant loaf of bread. And brush it with this delicious dressing. It's green, two small bunches of fresh oregano, one quarter cup of lemon juice, three quarters cup of olive oil, a little touch of garlic or flavor, and salt and pepper to taste. Do both sides, the top and the bottom, using approximately a half a cup of the dressing. Now we're ready to layer our fillings. For the bottom layer, a black forest ham, very thinly sliced. But that gives that flavor, that little bit of smoky flavor. Then grilled eggplant slices, half uh, inch slices of eggplant that are grilled over the uh, fire or on the grill inside your house. Mm. These have been marinated in a little bit of olive oil with a tiny bit of salt. Use uh, nice young eggplants. And then we have a very spicy salami. I like this because each one of these things is designed to um, complement the others. And these are red and yellow peppers that have been roasted over the gas flame and peeled of their blackened skin. Mmm, it's looking good. And then soppressata, another nice uh, sandwich meat that's Italian. Next to the last layer is fresh buffalo milk mozzarella sliced in about a little less than a quarter of an inch thick. And then one layer of large basil leaves. This is nice Genovese basil. This is like a medium bunch of basil. Washed well, all the leaves washed, taken off the stems and spun dry. This adds a fragrance that is unbelievably good. I love wax paper. It's very old fashioned, but um, it keeps the food very fresh. And looks good on a picnic. Crisscross the wax paper here. Put this on a breadboard. Put it in the refrigerator with a tray on top, maybe another breadboard, and I wait and let it stay for an hour or two to press together. Using that same great bread knife, that serrated long bread knife, cut the whole sandwich into wedges. I cut it right on top of the wax paper in which it was wrapped. That way, in case anything falls out, it doesn't dirty up your surface. Now look how delicious this layering looks. See how colorful it is? Green and red and white and uh, pink from, the, from that wonderful um, Black Forest ham. That's a nice looking sandwich. Then cut it in half first, then in quarters. Then cut each quarter into eighths. See the importance of a sharp, good knife like this? Then take each wedge individually like that and wrap it in some more wax paper. Has to be wrapped tightly, otherwise it would slip and slide. This wax paper will hold it nice and firmly. Sandwiches are all pressed, cut into wedges, and pack off to the beach.